Hey Techos, what's going on? Um, right now we're going to talk about um, basically the coolest cheat ever and it's uh, it is uh, one of the life cheats and um, it's basically how to use the snail and the slug forms as our lives and using their cheats in order to live our lives and um, basically it's just how to live more than one reality and how to switch from reality to reality using our own remix of um, basically our own idea to get to the snail and to the slug and it's just basically using you know uh, me drawing you know an overlap over my hand and you can see here how um, you know there's that little bit of uh, you know overline here and um, <clears throat> basically that little overlay is what I call the good part of my hand. You know, the good part of my foot, the good part of my skin that has a line of overlap. You know, it's kind of like if there's a hand here, you know, then there's that little piece of contour, you know, that I can see and I can flip my hand this way and you can't see what's here when I turn it. And <clears throat> that blind spot is actually your eyes that you used to see. And it's uh, mathematical in the butterfly. And um, basically, what you do is, um, you know, I'm just going to go over this going to be real quick. Um, you know, a snail is my hand, has my hand, clothed, flips, and rolls. Here it is. And this is all my work that I did on my own, you know, and this is original. And it's for you to use, you know, free cheat, you know. Um, the butterfly effect is what I like to call it. Um, you know, so the good part of hand is used on and as another hand second pressure. That means that you're using the next ideal hand that is sexier than your hand that can push. You know, like you see like a girl, a guy's hand that is sexier and can push and has more yawn in it, you know, to push. And um you're using someone else's, you know, you want to be them, so you know you have to use them to use it. And um anyway, you know, the second hand, you know, my ideal one was this girl named Kayla's a rapper. She has this really pretty hand. She's a mixed kind of black girl. And she was a rap artist that I kinda of talked to, but was, I'm having some kind of latency problem. It seems we're not really communicating. But I feel like I have a lack of words here. You know, if I'm really you know, like a Slim Shady, you know, that people have called me before. I really would not want to be able to be not seen under a pole you know, on one side or the other. And then my face is too big, you know, and I can't hide behind a pole if, um, you know, my, my face is this, you know, small. You know, I can't really, you know, <laughs> I can't hide behind that. You can't go, oh, that hand looks big. You know, you can't do that, you know, and that is um, basically the math here is you have to have something big enough to hide behind or, you know, attract all the attention to this area to make it understand what it's looking at. You know, we have to have, you know, you guys know as it is, you know, evolve enough to understand. So, um, with this, um, we have the uh, slug and, um, you know, um, when salt on a land slug is actually like salt, like tasting salt, as like me, a human, you know, compared to the collected dandruff for lice, etc. A monkey would pick out of a head, and it is disgusting and an insult to any person that eats salt instead of that. It's like, you know, when the first person said, you know, rock was the first word, you know, that was said in history. And, um, <clears throat> you know, when you say the word flipping, and then you say slug, and it has a big, huge, slimy foot. You know, it's like slug. I like nerds and worms and bourbon and, and stuff like that. It gets really irritating. And um, it's when you're looking at someone else's foot, and it's in the wrong position. And when you get caught on that, you know, you'll be caught on, you know, the fact that a snail can roll or a person can roll and that the roll is a fat person eating a roll. And it goes, you know, with the little rolling. And that's where you get the word soul, you know, because it, you got caught on that. It gets stuck and mucky. And um, anyway, so, um, you know, so beware of the foot because 
Um, it may make you want a foot's contour and shape instead. Um, you know, but it regains its posture and its role after you understand that. You know, I do, we do, we do. You know, and um, slime coats, what it sees is true. You know, um, when you're talking, you know, you're covering with slime. But as a person, you know, you're really covering with ideal me. You know, that second pressure. And um, <clears throat> to look at and fuck, basically. And to collect, you know, to just continue doing what I want to do with it. You know, so I have to look at it. And, you know, or just look at it the whole time. But it, it's, it's just so much in this hand. You know, and I just want it to be preserved. I want someone to want to preserve. That's the second pressure for. And, um, <clears throat> you know, um, so I explain that, you know, as a, um, you know, with the snail, you know, also be aware of snail becoming human with no shell. Um, for example, clothing. This is a human cum splotch. And, um, <clears throat> also be aware of any representable swirl shell without something manning it and that's just you know looks like worms armageddon worm you know here's a little snail shell you know you don't it has to have laughing in it to keep it together though that part you know because um it has to be the right kind of laughing it can't be forced uncontrollable laughter that is uncomfortable it has to be like you know, pressurized laughter, you know, that is, um, directed. And, um, but if not, you know, then you'd feel like a victim who feels face sunburnt, I call it. And it's just when you have, like, uh, it's just all those times when, you know, someone's like, ha <laughs> laughing and it hurts your face. It feels like the sun's bearing on your face. Um, and, you, you know, you also won't be able to swallow a knot in your throat at the time and you'll have difficulty you know, swallowing in between speeches, and, um, there'll be no apparent sun or darkness, you know, um, as a reference point, you know, there won't be any shade, and there won't be any light, you know, and it'll just be just, you know, blah, 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 you know, just really confusing things. It feels like you are naked explaining things and have no blind spot or suck spot, and, um, <clears throat> also, you know, dangerous is like laughing at putting sex where it feels like you're laughing at your or mouth or face or any pokey thing also seed face or just you know seed face and you know where the eyebrows go up and expel seeds similar to the Korean mask or when you know Marshall Mask was saying that just one example um McDonald's arses you know and you can see that face you know how it's how it feels you know when it's like you know, but it's like this McDonald's eye. I, mean, I don't have my eyebrows shaped that way, uh, but some people do, and um, they expel seeds. You know, it's like uh, trees that expel the seeds. That is the trees expelling the seeds. It's you expelling the seeds, and the trees expelling the seeds. It's you and the trees. You are the tree expelling the seeds. It's the seeds. You, your body does that because it's equipped with it anyway. Um, it doesn't have to be another tree. It's just a closed eye, you know, visual tree, you know, um, and the foot, you know, will be bony and like food such as refried beans hardened and fixed band-aids, fetish things, or prolonged strain, which is uncomfortable and embarrassing. You have some feet here as a reference to look at, and, um, how, you know, putting band-aids on it and looking at a, you know, door that explorer named Heather, and how, you know, she has a bruise on her foot and puts a band-aid on it and it looks like a fetish and it's uncomfortable. Or Kim Jong-un, you know, getting his foot surgery and how that was the sexiest thing ever. You know, it's, it's really uncomfortable type of things to look at if that's what everyone is supposed to look like. You know, good explanation. And um, so um, further on, uh, using purple pressure links by closing eyes would like to understand the pressure vision syringe. And it's just how the pressure is from the light when you close your eyes. You know, it feels like there's a pressure when you look at it with the little glances. But that's not really what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about actual vision things. Like things that you see as reality. Like, you know, uh, it's like when you close your eyes and don't see something and then you open your eyes and it has a 
relaxing kind of feel like a foot you know, or a touch or a hand you know there's motion there's pieces you know touching kind of going by but in your memory you know what you see is what I'm talking about when you forget something and then you realize something is what this motion is and the pressure vision syringe is also used with that purple light but it's also you know the depth of perception of what isn't not there and that's what we're trying to understand is that once I have all these safety measures corrected and I can say well I can walk from here to here and be in a different reality you know then I need to be able to know how I can you know with all the safety measures you know be able to do that and that's what the physic of you know being a human and a slug is and being a snail snails have clothing and they have something to put something in and it feels comfortable to be in it but you don't want junk in the bottom of it and you be all comfortable uncomfortable with like you know dirt and stuff in there it could be comfortable for a snail actually you know. Um, a slug is also a shotgun slug, but it's for if you kill a deer or animal, it's harder to give it that leverage of that role. This is just kind of tribute to uh, my uncle Joe Kelly, because I love him a lot. And, you know, he matters to me, you know, and I, I can't say no to that, you know. So not shooting it is just like not putting any insulting salt on the land slug. So why put salt on the land slug? It spent 15 years turning away from a salty beach, something like that. And, uh, <laughs> you know, a slug is also a shotgun slug. You know, the slime is like saliva, which is used to coat and comb correctly so speech makes sense to its environment. And everything's got to be pictured like, you know, I'm going to, you know, get this girl wet with all this cum and, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to put my cock in it and I'm going to fuck it and get it nice and soaking wet. You know, that is a necessity and it's going to have to happen, you know, manually. You know, and I mean, I'm going to lick those feet, I want to lick that body, I want to you know, get those curves, I want to feel them contours and little areas. That's really important. You know, you have to always do that with everything, you know. And I mean, if you don't, you get, you know, old and wasted and you have salt on you. And, you know, a slug with salt on it is not comfortable. It's an insult. You know, but a slug, you know, in the sea, you know, is a little bit different. You know, but, you know, a land slug, you know, is a uh, slug that can actually handle himself, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, um, you know, um, it's a lot to learn, but um, everything that we say has to have some kind of coating, you know, that's that safety, and it's, uh, you know, saying things over and over and over, relaying them, it's like listening to birds, chirping the same tone again and again and again, you know, beep, 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 you know, with a different one each time, you know, beep, beep, beep beep you know it's got to have you know a different beep every time you know it's like a reiteration you know kind of is slimed it for me that's how I learned it from watching you know my cousin rap and um you know picture you admitting you're having a great real time and I mean some people secretly have done this their whole life or in covers etc and um kind of like you know you're in the blanket and you're just kind of chilling and that's just kind of the visual there of that for you to see up there and um <clears throat> and then we have you know a slug coming through and he's got a gap and it's dry and he just he kind of stopped marking there and kept going and that's just kind of like um well it's like okay texture filled with data fun as our daydreams and if are done properly is also a conversation between people asking what is going on and I mean that's the basic rule that you need and it's just that um, you know that tree could be asking you know the slug what's going on like, what are you doing you know and like are you you know you a legitimate slug like I mean are you who you say you are, you know, are you really trying to like climb over this uh, piece of wood that looks like, you know, whatever it looks like, R. Kelly rapping or, you know, a vanilla gigantic ice cream cone or a computer with all this information or all these maps and all this interesting stuff or just whatever it's going to be, you know, or this new planet we're going to go look at, or just whatever. You know, that's what it's supposed to be. But you're supposed to be able to, you know, this other lifetime I have, or me as a girl doing something cool and sexy so I can look at it, or 
me as another person somewhere else doing something or you know me and my friends going and doing something instead of me and butterfly eye that is not an eyeball and it's what I do you know getting lost types of things as they all be coated you know like you paint a car you, know, you can't have a car running around with uh, metal you know and no paint you just gotta have paint and um it can be embarrassment with too much slime. It's not applicable here. It's like when you're fingering somebody and you know it gets so slimy it turns into aloe. Or you know when you're like whacking and you know you're directing the whack and it's like it gets so like hurt and stuff and it just plants out all over the place and it gets you know, all nerdy and um, that's when you know it's too much slime, you know too much juice, too much laugh, too much onion juice, you know. Um, any kind of substance too much of, you know, you can't just keep putting it there, you know, it has to stop at that point. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like running the wheels out, you know, it's like, you, know, you can drive a car so far, <laughs> you know, ha 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 ha, you know, um, checkpoints, you know, nothing good here, you know, as a good place as any, uh, in human terms, this will be, you know, dry, not enough drink, or girl or guy was out enough come or you know Brent Hunt the famous hunter that I ran into who obviously got like 300 women but it was too much and I couldn't do it but he had fun and you know, I'm sure he loved it but I'm just saying you know or would taste <laughs> you know or anything kind of tough to go through you know sign of bad technology also such as doctors open wide equals open wood you know, when that word is there, you know, open wide, open wood, you know, and it gets that, you know, like, you know, taste my wood and, you know, you're like Pinocchio and just stuff like that that just gets uncomfortable. You can't, you know, I did for me, but I mean, you could just, anything really. And um, so this is just some art, you know, for um, exaggeration daydreams, you know, coconut with face means problem and also must be like, you know, if that looks like a face you know it could be a problem you know on a dollar you know i think that would be a good rule you know inside of mask is face or inside out mask seems scary is that barrier um as if something could be the face behind the mask seems empty like a hollowed out person i don't think i need to you know, explain much else you know admit one that looks pretty damn scary and um you know not titties and ass or dick turning away from it bad sign or looking like a tripper probably bad sign you know one of the actual person here, you know. Also, be aware of stall defeating, you know, pulling beard, brushing face, taunting action with nothing but a stall motion with empty flattery. You know, it's like, kind of like those, you know. And then it doesn't do anything, there's no more sound, nothing's there. You know, that means, you know, you can't push it any further, you can't force it. You know, and things like that could be translated in other lifetimes and other places and other like realities, but they really are there. And um, it just is one peel of a slug turning, you know, it's just, you know, it's just that one little peel of your reality film, you know, and it's fun as hell and you can be all over the place and you have to learn this cheat that you could only learn from a slug without eating or eating it but just metaphorically eating and not actually you know doing something else faking slugging um, is drooping and taking spam that's another thing you can look at probably as art to kind of help you play you know um, watching an inchworm do one human sit up failing while making 10,000 metaphorical real dollars or any failure similar or too much slime is painful for human rather than 10,000 real dollars here you know so just things like that and you know the attention span diagram that helps me it helps something you know and i just think that you know that kind of whoop slump you know could be comfortable somewhere um also you know every animal has to have feet and a way to turn and not be seen where it is turned away from so the other part can see not just one part of face and here we have you know some more art you know, um, four people in the car, you know, one person's, you know, being hijacked by like, you know, two camels and another person over here. 
And, you know, it's just being uncomfortable and, you know, how ugly this looks, you know, probably, or just how much dirt can be there and the fake smile and you can't see, you know, and um, so there's different modes and, uh, you know, force flirted with smile, Kim and Yang Yang twins, but not enough. I mean, not them enough for James without them. And it's just, you know, her little cute little face, you know, kind of clam looking face, just wanting to hang out with me and it was cute and um and, you know this diagram is people singled out in the car people trying to make the one person uncomfortable you know trip but that's not really the point but it is for people in a, in a little you know area uh, force and happy faces that have to eat dirt force a smile and it's just somebody who you know obviously you know looks pretty normal if you ask me and then that looks like someone tripping but I just think the death part you know, shouldn't be an element, <sighs> you know, but I, I know that's not an element, um, because you have to repeat everything you do in order to, um, because you have to repeat everything you do in order to, um, because you have to repeat everything you do in order to, um, and just the way that that happens, you know, um, is definitely constant recording, just like how I said with birds and walking records. Um, every animal records, everything records, it doesn't stop recording. It's always good to look at, you know, um, the uh, element of uh, erosion and how things can be destroyed and how you can break things down into simpler pieces until, you know, you can find basically a way to beat um, the things that are still there that you're wondering about things you can't swallow unless it's tightness in the throat. And that's a huge sort of thing, you too. A toothbrush violin or reminders to brush teeth. They're almost sex violent annoyances. Willy Wonka, Thomas Edison, ideas are reliable. Disguises of bloodshot, barely peeled, uncomfortable eyes, trying not to make him uncomfortable. Smiling. A worm or colored butter worm or any early useless answer of jealousy or, you know, non Google die, Google die from history not present. You know, or it's just a sock. You know, it says, don't think you can hog it or something like that. You know. And, you know, I just don't like seeing faces like that. It doesn't look very safe. Uh, penny being moved with safety. You know, just you know, had a penny and, you know, just kind of moved it with safety. You know, just knows how to move a penny. You know, I mean... Where's the cameras at looking at it? <laughs> you know, I mean, why isn't this what's on TV? Just the penny being moved by the finger. You know, um, I'm sure that's what needs to be on TV, really. <laughs> you know, and um, that you are a penny and that someone can keep you upright is things like, you know, you feel like you're sitting there and you feel uncomfortable. And then it feels like, you know, you're not sitting comfortably and, you know, somebody could just kind of hope that you're a little penny and you could just kind of float it and move it and kind of keep it little <laughs> you know it makes it you know this is James's life I, I just had this penny and I was just holding it making sure it make it to the little place <laughs> and things like that you know that laughing could actually came you know and things like that and um, just how that is and as you sit down on the couch at the same time I thought that would make some sense uh, learning extra garbage will it's like a cat having a language, but it's not really possible to say meow, and it's not uh, because the word meow is saying that it's not really possible to say meow. It's a word. It's like a big fat lady that looks like this that says meow. You know, or any of the other words here. That is not attractive and not a form that can even be taken up as a person. Okay. All right, it's impossible. You know, here's some words for you. You know, donut, meow, silicone, aliens, Vladimir Putin, silly fast thing, sounds of quarters, extra learning, sexy lazy spills, no nasty cleanable feet, view being a sick nose up curl. If that person could say all of that stuff, there's no way it would be sexy or even possible to say in one sentence. There's no way that person can. It's impossible. It's physics and math and the equations.
<clears throat> and um, you know, porn being a visual, you know, lukewarm but not word lukewarm. Uh, two available unsensible, sensible humans. Basically, the fact that you know, porn, you know, being a little thing, can just kind of take a little piece of hummus and kind of smell it and try it, you know. And now that's a button, you can just kind of push it and taste it. You know, that's not really good enough, you know. Um, um, you know, any cartoons from this entire century, you know, all, are all people breaking their arms and necks and backs as real people to resemble failure and how uncomfortable it is to be a fake, not real person character. You know, Bart Simpson is a woman watching Simpsons advertising Walmart ads because of fake star and fake sex like Jim Carrey of the rectangle teeth. You know, getting paid like, you know, what, twenty million dollars to look like some ugly thing. I mean, you know, that is a fucking woman, you know. And it's just disgusting and it's trash. You know, I'm talking about getting rid of this stuff and it's world movement. Get rid of these ideas. I mean, just get rid of the appliance of how these things are that make failures and make something new and don't go back to it again, you know. Uh, you know, guy breaks his arm into electrical sockets. Socket eight reaches impossible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Puts his hand into an electrical socket and, you know, it's like, it's drawn, like there's just layers of extra hand reaching, you know, and there's no way the hand will be able to reach and it just makes you all dislocated trying to reach. And you know, cartoons or molds to TV is supposed to be watched with no screen. Oh, molesto hummus, you know. Um, you know, it's just that you know, people hiding and pretending that, you know, hummus is hum us and, you know, all that is just too much junk and garbage. And it's time to get rid of your stuff that I'm talking about here. You know what it is. You know, and that, you know, watching TV is supposed to be watched with no screen. You know, that's some more garbage. But honestly, like, I mean, if I'm looking at a TV and I'm not getting anything from it, why the fuck's it there? But also the fact that, you know, if there was no screen and all it was based on, which is what it's based on, is, you know, me just looking at something and how my reaction is. So, you know. Okay, and then we have... Um, piece of tire and just, you know what it's like to have an alternate life you know? Um, you know I don't know if this is junk but it might be we'll have to figure it out you know alternate realities that's probably junk you know a piece of tire and how it could you know be a piece of you know your skin I think that's junk um, my hand does not roll like a tire and never will you know and you know learn mark closed eye you know with learning here you know learn mark you know, and then open eye learn mark, you know, um, I think there should be learn marks, but maybe that's trash too, you know, you get rid of that scrap, um, do not use eyeball black part, that is what you were saying, it's just basically saying, you know, that, you know, not using this, um, would be like, I mean, I can't really explain it, but it's just basically, uh, I thought that it was um, being able to, you know, closed eye see and open eye see, but it's just basically a transition of view. Um, and as long as um, all of the mathematical equations are right on both realities, uh, it should be perfect to inverse right into the next reality like a little ramp. Uh, probably like playing Extreme G for 64 was my idea. You know, just how it can, you know, turn like that and then do one of those damn loops and shit and a roller coaster would be a good uh, probably idea I mean anything that you know would basically teach us more about something or you know, get us really deeply involved into something important and it still looks like really sexy of course and without all the little particles and everything would be nice uh, but anyway you know to safely warp in between all the no cartoons no being cartoons must use real humans to do so all humans must be real humans and that is what cartoons are for and not for humans to be humans that's offensive and that's just like me being a me you know it would be kind of fucked up you know 
It could be. But maybe not. I think it's just crap. I mean, it's on the first page of this, you know? I mean, I've seen somebody just sit here and go over it a bajillion times. And um, you know, no matter what the crap is, as long as it was intended to be correct, it was good enough. And to scratch it out, it's just more drunk and junk. Um, it's a little bowl some old person's face. Things that bother me, you know, just have piled up so much it's really annoying. You know, what you're seeing is in the eyes should look good and look like you're seeing something out of being I'm thinking that butterfly eyes in all faces, that everything is not faces, you know, and it's just a butterfly and I thought everything was like faces, you know, it's easy to kind of have safety when everything has faces. You know, because you can see how, you know, uh, you know, the building has eyes and the uh, mouth is open. You can see what goes in it and out. And, you know, everything could have it, you know, and you can understand how that would work, you know, and just how it would have a personality and something to say. It makes it pretty easy. You know, it's like looking at Link going inside of the cabin, you know, um, in the uh, Game Boy Advance and, you know, DS games, you know, where he goes inside of his cabin, he's got a wide open mouth, he's walking there with his sword, and, you know. Things like that are really nice, I think, to use. But that's the practice. Have fun, and really the first page is all it was. You know, have fun and keep practicing. You know, I think it'll work.